To make a cabinet that is compliant with the American Disabilities Act, ADA, we should be in frameless mode. We then begin by bringing any relatively standard base cabinet into the cabinet editor and then we remove certain parts. The order in which parts are removed is not important. We will remove the doors, the shelves, the toe kick, and any other parts that are not necessary by unselecting those items as has been described in earlier tutorials. But we will include what is referred to as a front cover. Next, let us access the ADA and angled size category within the cabinet editor to display the parameters we will use in designing our ADA cabinet. We can select which parameters we wish to use and the style of ADA cabinet we intend to build. Later, we will explore how to use a toe kick as a vertical member at the base of our angled front. But first, let's explore how to use just the three basic parameters on the screen without any such vertical piece. These three parameters define these three dimensions. So as an example, we'll set the top front height to five inches, the front top depth to four inches, the bottom rear depth to 10 inches, and then look at our results. Notice our front cover is angled, but our sides are not. If we want to angle the sides as well as the front cover, then at our ADA window, we uncheck the boxes that will allow us to angle the left and right sides. Now, our sides are angled along with our middle front cover. For this example, I have removed the bottom, but if we want the bottom to be part of our cabinet, then we must set the parameters to be for this cabinet only. This way, we can alter the depth of our bottom without affecting our other cabinets. In fact, if we alter any of our parts at the parameter editor screen for this ADA cabinet, it is a good idea to set our parameters for this cabinet only. Just about all the parts that are still part of this cabinet can now be modified in the same way regular cabinets may be modified. Going back to our ADA window, let's make a different style of ADA cabinet and place checks back into these boxes so as to not angle the two sides. In addition, let's use the toe kick substrate and its parameters to see how we can further customize this ADA cabinet with a vertical member labeled D. Going back to view our cabinet, we will notice that the angled front does not go all the way to the floor, but also does not intersect any part. This is because we have turned our toe kick off and this angled front cover is now connected to our toe kick as we told it to at the ADA window, even if the toe kick has been removed. Turning it back on now, we will see how it is included in our drawing. We should also notice that we changed our toe's height to about 10 inches and it's recessed from the front to 16 inches. If we look at a left wire view of our cabinet, we will see how these parts interact with each other. Remember, all of the parts on this cabinet can be altered at the cabinet editor and at the parameter editor, just like any other cabinet. For example, if you choose to use both the toe substrate and the finished toe kick and alter the finished toe height to your liking, we have yet another construction style for our ADA cabinet. 